so a lot of the things that I'm proud of in this book is a lot of these tales are people that when I started my career and I was giving them a hard time and being hilarious really hated me. And something that I learned from my dear departed pal Joan Rivers and my still with us pal Don Rickles is believe it or not if you keep doing this sometimes these celebrities kind of come around. Not a lot. But Sharon Stone, I call her Stoney, is one of those. And I used to just rip into her. I mean, I still can if, if I feel like it. But, um, but, you know, she's just awesome. And she's a little nutty. And so I said, um, let's watch the election together. So I went over to her house. And um, as the returns were not going our way, let's say this, Stoney would do stuff like she'd stand up. And we'd either do like, um, like a, we did like a yoga circle yeah. at one point. We did yeah. breathing. We thought we could exercise. breathe Hillary into the office. And then at one point she said, um, dance break, because everyone's getting depressed. And then she was making a positive announcement about something about like stripping your fears. Yes. So I decided to actually take my real clothes off. So I took my entire top off sure. and my titties are real. And when I go to bed, they're underneath my armpits where they belong. They're not perky like hers. And then she took hers off. And no joke, we were, Sharon Stone and I, dancing in her screening room naked trying to will through silliness and love uh, Hillary into the White House and it didn't work but I also think I have something for my next book the night I danced topless with Sharon Stone